Hi everyone, this is Dr. Malego, and in this video, I'm going to lead you through the first lesson on the bassoon. So to start, normally we show the case and we open the case. We make sure we're opening it the correct way. I have a different case than probably most of you, and there are a lot of different types of bassoon cases. So I'm going to just ask you to use your common sense. Usually if you have a case that opens like this, the handle is going to be on the bottom and you're gonna lift up the latches, open the case, and see your bassoon inside. The next thing we're going to do is point out the parts of the instrument. So I'm gonna hold each of those up for you now. First, we have the boot. We have the long joint, and you're gonna see two pieces that kind of look like this. And I'll give you a hint. The long joint is the longer of the two. Next, we have the wing joint. It's the smaller of the ones that look sort of like this. We have the bell. We have the bocal. We should also have a seat strap. And you may have a crutch. Some bassoons have a crutch in them and some of them do not. Next, we want to make sure that we have a small cup of water, and we have our reed. So we're going to take the reed, we're going to put it in the water, and we just want the blades of the reed to be wet, but we want the entire blades to be wet. So make sure you have enough water in there, and you can put your reed in there and set it aside. After the reed has soaked for um, about a minute or so, you're gonna take it out of the water, shake the water off, blow the ex excess water out, just kinda dry it off a little bit, and we're going to learn to how we're gonna form our embouchure. So to play on the reed, what you're going to do is you're going to say like you're saying how, but inward. So like how, it's gonna give us a circle, a circular shape to our lips. We're going to take the your pinky, set your pinky on the wire of the reed, and that's gonna be about how far the reed is gonna go into the mouth. And it's gonna go straight into your mouth, with your lips about 50% rolled over. You wanna make sure that you have some red of the lips showing on the top and the bottom, and you wanna make sure your teeth are not touching the reed. So we put our pinky there, the reed in the mouth. Then we're gonna close our lips like a drawstring around the reed and form the inside of our mouth like we're saying the word spa, like we're going to a spa day, okay? And we're going to be able to make a sound. We want to make sure there's a lot of space between our teeth. Our teeth are very open inside. And there are three variables that we want to be controlling with our reed. The first is our air and our pressure. And so the pressure is how the muscles are controlling how the air is coming out. The next is going to be our embouchure, and that's how our lips are formed around the reed. And the third thing is our voicing. So those three things together are going to help us make a good sound on the bassoon. So next we're gonna talk about articulation. We are going to add the reed to the bocal for this. Anytime we're handling the bocal, we want to handle the bocal close to where we're putting something onto it, okay? So because I'm putting the reed onto the bocal, I want to hold the bocal near the end and I'm going to take the reed and I'm pretty much just gonna slide it straight on. We don't wanna to do too much twisting motion because you can actually cause the blades to um, become uh, messed up there. So we want the blade to be um, in line with the bocal so that when we put the bocal bump at our eye level, the reed is coming straight at us like that. So the tip of the tongue is going to strike the bottom reed like this. Okay, and that is going to be how we're going to do our articulation on the bassoon. So let's try some of that. Remember how far the reed goes into the mouth. Let's hold the cork and let's hold the bocal like this and let's try some articulation. So while we're articulating, we wanna make sure that we keep a steady airstream and that way we'll produce a really good sound while we're playing. Before we 
get to actually putting the bassoon together, what we want to do is take the seat strap. You're going to put the seat strap on your chair and you want to have that about two inches from the front edge of the chair. And I like to have it go straight across. When we play the bassoon, we're going to sit all the way back. When it's straight across, if I want to adjust the length of it side to side, I can just lift my legs and move it side to side. Some people like to have it on a diagonal, but then it's harder to adjust as you're playing. You want to make sure that the hook is to your right side and don't worry about how far down it is for right now. We'll figure that out after we have the bassoon all together. So for this next part of the lesson, you're not going to see my head because I want you to see the floor so that we can put the bassoon together. We are first going to take the boot and we are going to put the boot on the floor, sort of cementing it there so that the small hole is to our right. Okay, there's a bigger hole and a smaller hole. The small hole is to our right. Next, we're going to take the wing joint, which is the shorter of the two. We are going to take the fatter side of the wing joint and we are going to slide it straight down into the bassoon. And when we do that, we're going to notice it's curved. It's going to go straight down in there. Now I'm going to show you on this spot right here on the bassoon where my thumb is, there is often going to be a little scratch mark that goes from the wing joint into the boot. That is going to help you line those two parts up so that they're perfectly in line for when the whole bassoon is assembled. Okay, so we're going to support this while grabbing the long joint. So put your long joint in your left hand and you're going to notice that one side of the long joint has what looks like, kind of looks like hockey sticks as its keys there, a bunch of those. Those are going to face you and you're going to line it up and then you're going to push straight down in. So this is different than a lot of the other instruments that we assemble because we don't want to do any twisting motion because there's so many keys that we could damage if we did that. Then you're going to notice here at the top, there's a little lever that you're going to push over to the side and that is going to go down into the bassoon and lock the parts together. So I will show you that up close. You see this lever right here? I'm going to slide it over and that is going to put a little pin down into the bassoon right here and that is going to hold the bassoon together. Now that we have this much of the bassoon together, we are going to take the bell and you're going to notice that there is a bridge key between the bottom of the bell and the top of the bassoon. The bell is going to go onto the long joint. What we want to do is line that up, depress the key here. That is going to raise the bridge key and we're going to slide that on so that they align right here. The crutch receiver on my bassoon is right here like this. So I'm going to put the crutch in there and I can tighten it a little bit on, there's a little tightener here. It could be in a different spot depending on how your bassoon is put together. Now the ball of the crutch can either be higher. So this is the top of the bassoon is this direction. So I could either have it above or I can have it below. It's going to be a personal preference based on the size of your hand. So you can experiment with that. And also if you have a small hand, you might not want to use a crutch at all. And even if you have a large hand, you might not want to use a crutch. So this is completely optional. So now that we have most of the bassoon together, we're going to attach the bassoon to the seat strap. On the bottom of the boot, there are two holes. One of the holes is going to be lower to the ground. And that is the one that you want to hook on to the seat strap. Then we're going to take our bocal that has our reed on it and we're going to put the bocal into the hole in the wing joint. We're going to hold the bocal as close to the cork as we can while we put it directly in here. Now there are a few things we have to be careful of. One is holding it near the cork. If you hold it way out here, it's fragile and you will actually bend and break the bocal. It will be useless. 
The second thing is as we're sliding the buckle in, we have to be careful not to damage the pad on the whisper key that is at the top here. So this is a very delicate sort of situation that we want to take care of. And at the end, we should have the whisper key hole being covered by the pad right there. So while we're playing the bassoon, it's like we're ready to eat a big hamburger. So both of our hands are gonna be like hamburger hands holding the bassoon. The left hand thumb is going to be on what's called the whisper key. It's going to be the lowest of the thumb keys that you see on the back. And it's also very small. Depending on your bassoon, you might have a different number of thumb keys here. Mine has four, sometimes they have five um, keys there. So we're gonna put the thumb on the lowest key there. And then on the front, we're gonna have hole, hole, and then either a hole or a key, depending on your bassoon. And then your pinky is gonna go on the top key right here. So there are two keys that your pinky is going to operate. You're going to put your pinky on your top key. And you're gonna keep your fingers curved, like holding into that hamburger. On your right hand, you're going to have your thumb on this large round key, which we call the pancake key. And then you're gonna have hole, hole, and then the larger of these keys here with your pinky on the small square key right here. Again, everything is going to be nice and curved fingers and you're going to hold the bassoon. So the bottom of the bassoon is to your right and the top of the bassoon is to your left and it's diagonally across your body in a comfortable manner. You want to make sure that the reed is going to go straight into your mouth. You're not reaching up or down to get to it. And how you adjust that is by raising your legs and adjusting the seat strap so that the bassoon is at the right level. It should come comfortably into your mouth. For the first three notes on the bassoon, we're gonna learn E, D, and C. So for E, we are going to have our thumb on the whisper key, and we're gonna have our first finger down. When we go to D, we're gonna add our second finger, and when we go to C, we're going to add our third finger, which might be on a hole on your bassoon, or it could be on a key. It's gonna depend on the type of bassoon you have. So for the first note, for E, we're gonna have our whisper key and first finger. We're gonna add a finger to get D, and we're gonna add another finger to get C. And there you have it, your first lesson on bassoon. Thanks for watching.